What's going on guys, it's Brian, and now for this week's video today, we are actually going to be unboxing, as you guys can see from the title, something by the brand of Prada. If you guys are not familiar with Prada, they're another luxury line just like Louis Vuitton, like Gucci, like all of the other name brands, but Prada or something else. And so for this week's video, we actually have a box right here from Prada and towards the end, and I'll show you guys what we actually have inside the box. But before we get started, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys can go check out my social medias. They're all gonna be linked in the description and also on the screen right now. I am posting a giveaway on my Instagram for the 8,000 subscriber giveaway. If you guys do wanna be entered into that, go ahead and check out my Instagram. It's on the screen again, and it's also down in the description below. I am giving it away once I reach 8,000 subscribers. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, Go ahead and do so because you guys do not want to miss out. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this box right here. So as you guys can see right here, the box is very, it's a very interesting type of design for a box. So what I ordered is obviously not the size of this box and they kind of packaged it in a very weird way. As you guys can see right here, I actually purchased something from Louis Vuitton. If you guys want to see what I actually purchased, go ahead and subscribe, turn on the post notifications. This video will be out very, very soon probably within two weeks after you guys are watching this video. It's the cheapest thing from Louis Vuitton. If you guys haven't already guessed what it is, make sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you guys can see this video coming out. But I wanted to compare it to the Prada right over here that I have. So as you guys can see right here, we have the box from Prada. And right here we have the box from Louis Vuitton. So right here, it's just right off the bat, it's a very interesting type of vibe. I didn't think that this was actually coming from Prada. As you know, like a luxury line, you would think that companies would have a standard for stuff that they ship their boxes in. As you guys can see, Louis Vuitton is no exception. Let's go ahead and talk about Prada right here. So, I mean, as you guys can see, they just kind of like slapped the piece of paper, not even cut out. Like what? They just threw a piece of paper on here, brought it to UPS, and they said, we're done. They got my money, which is probably what they ultimately wanted, but let me go ahead and show you guys the main purpose of this video, what I actually got from Prada. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out my TikTok. It's gonna be linked down below. And I do TikToks on designer unboxing. So if you guys wanna see a quick 15 second rundown, everything that was inside of this box, go ahead and check out my TikTok. It's on the screen, also down in the description one more time. It's pretty cool. I always post designer unboxings on TikTok, which you guys can get for a hundred bucks and also the cheapest thing that you guys can get. So I think he like somehow like lift up. But without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we have inside of this box. How we looking? Woo! Okay, this is kind of nice. As you guys can see right here, we have the Prada logo, you guys. I am already loving this box right here, but it's just the tissue paper. So let's see what else we got in here. Go ahead and lift up the tissue paper. It's very nice. It's very, ooh, nice tissue paper. You guys can't feel it on the video right now, but it's a very soft type of tissue paper, not something I see from other brands, so good job, Prada. Ooh! Typically, if you guys haven't already watched my other designer unboxings, they all come in boxes. With Prada, they actually sent me a bag. All right, so you guys, this right here, this is pretty interesting. So I actually was sent a bag. Now, obviously this isn't what I ordered, but I was very surprised that it came in this type of packaging. Did pay extra for it. I thought it was gonna come in a box like Chanel sent me or like Dior sent me. Again, if you guys haven't checked out those videos, go ahead and do so. With Prada right here, they actually sent me a whole bag. So I don't wanna really touch the bow because it's just nicely wrapped around the handles. So props to Prada, I'm very, very, I'm liking this so far. Let me just go ahead and show you guys what I got from Prada. You guys are probably waiting and you guys are just probably wanting to see what I got. So let's just go ahead and find out. All right, you guys, so what we have right here from Prada is going to be Prada Loam. As you guys have probably seen from all of my other videos that I've made, I buy fragrances like crazy. I'm a fragrance holic, if that's even what you would call it. All the fragrances that I buy come directly from the website of the designer. I love to see how they send their products and stuff like that and then review it to you guys. So Prada, there's a bag, and then right over there, if you guys can see, Chanel came in a box. So that's very, very interesting. But I also kind of want to make this video into like a fragrance review, low key, but I'm going to go ahead and just open this up real quick. So I'm kind of surprised that this box is for the fragrance because the fragrance is not as big as I think it is. All right, and so like every other fragrance that I get, you have the little pull tab 
right here. I'll go ahead and open that. Bloop, and we'll go ahead and pull it out. Bam! Wow, that's actually a very tiny bottle. I wasn't expecting it to be that small. That's what she said. All right, wow. So looking at the back of this bottle, it looks like it's, there's actually leather on the back of the bottle. I'm very, very surprised. It's a nice, extremely nice touch to put actual leather on the back of a fragrance bottle. And I also wanna let you guys know, this fragrance comes in three different sizes. So I got the 50 ml bottle and this came in a price point of $80 plus tax, of course. Free shipping though. Who doesn't love free shipping? You can get the 75 ml or the 100 ml, I believe, for $100. And the next step up is 120. I can't remember the exact size on it. I'll let you guys know if I like this fragrance or not, and if it's a buy or if it is a pass. So this one has a very interesting woo to it. It's not nothing like Versace Eros. And if you guys have watched my previous video, Versace Eros, it was an awesome fragrance. It's a very unique fragrance and it has notes of, it's a very sweet fragrance, I should probably say. So with Prada, it's not a sweet fragrance. So it's definitely not a masculine fragrance either. I think it could be a versatile fragrance, but it's like a soapy, relaxed type of fragrance. I can imagine using this fragrance probably when you're just getting out of the shower and you're relaxing right here. Prada alone would be my go-to. I don't think I would ever wear this going out to like the club, maybe the office, but on a rare occasion, I think that this is just a too soapy fragrance for an office smell. But nonetheless, this is a super nice fragrance. I think I'd wear it, like I said, right when I'm getting out of the shower, when I'm relaxing, maybe if I'm going to hang out with some friends, but this is not an office fragrance. I repeat, not an office fragrance. I also wanted to add in, do I think that this fragrance is going to be worth a blind buy? And if you guys don't know what a blind buy is, you don't know what you're buying, you just zoop right into it. I would say this fragrance is not a blind buy. It does smell good, however, I think that you should smell this fragrance before you actually buy it, because it does have that very soapy smell, and for me, when I was looking at it online, I didn't think it had a very soapy smell, but for this fragrance, it smells like a bubble bath. So I would recommend that you smell it before you guys actually buy it. So right in here, Prada actually sent me in this beautiful little envelope is my return instructions. Not that I'm going to return the fragrance because I do like this fragrance, but they gave me a nice little envelope and it says Prada right on the back as well. I like it, I like it. Whew. All right, you guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys did like stuff like this, Go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys can see more fragrance designer unboxings just like this one. If you guys kind of like my smell test ideas or if you guys have any better ways I can critique it, always let me know in the comment section below. I'm always open and I'm always listening to your uh, comments and ideas. With that out of the way, this is Prada Loam, you guys. Definitely recommend maybe nine and a half, nine out of 10. It's a soapy fragrance, but it is definitely a nice smelling fragrance as well. If you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell. Louis Vuitton video is on the way. I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to that video. I am too. I'm actually opening up that box next. So we'll see what's in that. If you guys do want to see again, make sure to turn on that notification bell. In the meantime, subscribe to my social medias, stay in touch with me, and I'll see you guys in the next week's video. Peace out, guys.